Today on the Canadian Arcade, we're going to try to fix my Metallica pinball machine with some bonding. So earlier this week I was playing my Metallica and I happened to notice the grave marker, the little cross that uh, goes up on the one shot. It looked like the bottom of it was broken off. I actually ended up uh, pulling the glass off, taking a closer look, and in fact it was actually broken. Uh, so I pulled the play field up, found the little piece in the bottom of the cabinet, and we tried to glue it together a couple different ways. Um, couldn't figure anything out that would hold it nicely. Um, you know, I, I ended up putting a little piece of foam with a, a zip tie to kind of like hold that area up for now. Otherwise, like the steel post behind the cross was exposed and uh, the wires were there and it just seemed like it could turn into a big mess if uh, we didn't cover that back up eventually. So uh, I did look at a replacement online from Marco Specialties. The part was like $44 US and then it was a crap load of money to ship it to Canada. So I thought I'd try to find another solution in the meantime. We tried this product called Bondic. Um, the Bondic is basically a liquid to plastic in four seconds. Uh, my buddy recommended this, said he tried it on his machine and uh, it worked out okay. It was holding uh, the, the part perfectly. So you know what, we're gonna give it a go and I just cross my fingers it's gonna work. I hope it works as advertised. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos and stuff on this. It seemed to work really good for those folks who were, uh, were showing it off. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. And before you do any sort of repair on a pinball machine, Generally, you should turn the power off so you're not risking yourself or any of the components in the machine. Uh, you don't want to cross a tool with the circuit or anything like that, short anything out, or give yourself a little zap. So definitely turn that off first before you do anything else. Um, for the grave marker or cross removal, we're going to have to pull the play field up. It's actually easier to get at it from the underside of the play field. Um, otherwise, you have to pull a bunch of plastics and stuff off. Um, so before you put your play field up, remove the balls if you need to do that and uh, pull the play field up and get at the cross from the bottom. And you can see here I have uh, got the section zoomed in here on the camera and we're going to remove that from the bottom. So there's just three screws. Uh, I think it was a quarter inch uh, nut driver I used to remove this in this particular case. And it just pulls out from the bottom. Um, you will have to remove the, the light. I think there's like a flasher inside of it. And we'll pull that out, stick that to the side and then we're going to take this back to our work table where we can work on it. So we have this Bondic liquid to plastic in four seconds, this thing says. Um, so it's a product I bought on Amazon earlier last week and essentially it claims to weld plastic together. Um, I don't know if it's a true like plastic weld. I don't know that it's eating or melting into the, the plastic itself that you're putting onto it, but uh, it, it, it basically sort of like I don't know how to describe it, like a resin or something, but it is UV activated. Um, so essentially, there's a little pen in here and you squeeze out the glue. And uh, it's, it's actually, they claim it's not a glue. And if you go to a website, www.notaglue.com, you can find Bondic. Um, so yeah, we're going to give this thing a shot. Um, some of the warnings, actually, let's just go through what it says here that it works on. Uh, it says it works on metal, wood, ceramics, glass, plastics, and more. Um, remove the cap, squeeze to apply, and then shine UV light to cure. And they show a whole bunch of stuff on here. Things you can use it for to fix. Uh, bicycle pedals and fixing the little loop on your keychain, the little plastic loop. Um, actually, you know how like the wires fray on like your little iPhone uh, lightning connector? That stuff, you can patch that up. They show that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I got this recommendation from another collector in the community, um, our buddy Gary, um, who had his cross break on his Metallica, and he used this Bondic to repair that, and he says it's held up since. So uh, I think we're going to try it out. Um, we'll clamp this together first, and then we will apply this in a, a few different layers. I watched some videos on this stuff online. Uh, the Bondic, they had an official YouTube channel and then there were some reviews of the stuff as well. And people were doing things like bonding stuff underwater. Like one guy took two nails and got them wet and put them in a bowl of water and essentially fused those together. So it was pretty cool stuff. Um, 
Safety precautions definitely says it causes skin irritation. Don't get it in your eye. Don't eat the stuff, obviously. Um, it says, causes damage to organs through prolonged or repeated exposure. Well, that's interesting. Well, we're only going to use it for a few seconds today uh, to, to do this quick job, hopefully. And we'll see how it holds up. So, I mean, it may bond this thing okay. It may put it back together. But is it going to hold it up enough that it will last in the game? Now, I had about 1,300 plays on my Metallica. I bought it new in box two and a half years ago, and it only recently broke. I asked around to a few people. Not a lot of people initially said that theirs had broken, but now that I've been researching for the last week, I have come across a lot of cases of, of people who uh, ended up getting their cross broken. So hopefully this works. We're going to give it a go. And I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, we can go on the Marco Specialties website. They do have this piece available on the website. Um, it's about $44 US. Uh, the shipping into Canada is kind of crazy, so you're probably going to want to you know, team up with a buddy and order a bunch of parts all at once to kind of save on shipping. Um, they do have some U.S. shipping options. If you have a buddy in the U.S., maybe you can have it shipped to them and then your buddy can ship it to you and maybe save a few bucks that way. But uh, ultimately, you know, it, we're going to try this first and, and hope that it works out. So my pieces do fit together pretty nicely. Uh, when it broke, it broke cleanly. It snapped off. It didn't shatter. Um, if it had shattered into like a whole bunch of pieces, I think that that probably would have been a bigger deal. Uh, to try to fix but um, this this kind of goes together nicely so we are going to uh, piece it back together here we'll clamp it first and then we will uh, apply this glue to it so we'll see how it goes so the bondic product comes with this nice little tin box bondic on it aluminum case with hinges there's an instruction manual in here uh, let's just take a quick look over it <sighs> and of course, it gives you ideas of what you can do with it. Repair glasses, insulate wires, fix leaks. That one's interesting. Make threading, like on a bolt. Repair jewelry. Uh, so yeah, remove the cap, squeeze tube to apply, shine UV light to cure. Um, so what do we have here? We have this Bondic pen. It looks like it comes apart. This looks like it's the glue. Um, we'll just set that aside because we're not ready to explore that yet. And then we have this little UV light. Uh, so it's got a little switch on the back, a little orange switch. I guess that will apply power. So we'll turn it on. Oh, wow. So that's it. So a little UV light, like a black light. And that's what it uses to cure the glue. So make sure that's turned off and not pointed at the area that you're, you're gluing until you're ready to actually fuse it together. Um, don't get this stuff on your fingers. Definitely, and if you do, don't have this UV light on your fingers because it's going to harden up really quick. Um, yeah, applications, directions. So the bottom surface must be clean and free of dust and grease. So we actually, just a few minutes ago, you saw that we cleaned this up uh, with the 99% isopropyl alcohol uh, just to clean any grime off of it. Um, I did actually previously glue this thing together using a few different types of glue. Nothing really held it. Um, so the alcohol did help clean that up a little bit. Um, yeah. So I think we're ready to go. Bondic is not a glue. will not work like most of them. Uh, the surface must be rough in order for the fluid to grab onto the material when cured. So this is actually pretty rough to begin with. The edges are very rough inside. Um, and then the outside is kind of a rough surface as well. So. I think it'll probably grab pretty well. It's not like we're gluing a piece of glass or anything together. There's no super smooth edges, so that should be good. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Begin by removing the small black cap found at the bottom of the black Bondic cartridge. Squeeze the Bondic refill cartridge with your fingers to dispense fluid. Activate the LED by pressing together using the thumb and index finger short mode by moving the small switch downward on the rear side of the LED. Allow Bondic to harden with the help of the LED. It says four to eight seconds. Uh, depending on the required thickness, apply Bondic in several layers and allow each layer to harden. Layers thicker than one millimeter require more time to harden. So if you've got a big glob of this stuff on there, uh, you're going to want to hold the light on it a little bit longer. Um, and actually, before we get started, I want to try something really quick. Let's get this stuff out of the way. 
And we're going to zoom the camera in a little bit. I just want to see how quick this stuff really does bond. Let's get this out of the way. Let's move our screws somewhere. We're not going to knock them off the table. And so we will unscrew this. Oh boy. What is going on here? You don't want to unscrew it. Is there a cap? Ah, there we go. Okay. Don't unscrew it. There's a little cap that you have to pull off. Let's make sure we didn't spill any on ourselves when we open that. Okay, so it definitely smells like a glue. I'm just gonna squeeze a little dab out on the table. So it's it's kind of like glue, it's a little tacky, but it's not hardening up. Okay, let's put our cap back on. Okay, so the cap snaps back on. Make sure you snap it on. It might leak out. So this tiny little blob there, and we are going to turn that on. So we're going to count. I think we're three or four seconds in already. Wow, you can really smell it. And I don't know if that's just from the UV light activating it or if it just the smell has finally hit me. Okay, so I've hit that long enough. Let's check this out and see, did it harden? Holy smokes, it did. That's like hard plastic now, yep. And I did this on parchment paper, so our glue won't stick to the parchment paper. Um, wow, that's amazing. That is a hard piece of plastic. And I'm trying to cut it in half with the X-Acto blade. No, that's really hard. So, yeah, it's not tacky. It bends a little bit, but it's pretty solid. That's pretty amazing for just a few seconds with the UV light on that. Okay, so we know how this stuff kind of works now. So I've abandoned the idea with the clamp. I don't think we need it. We are going to hold this thing. I'm going to like glue the middle of it first. I'll try not to get it on my fingers. And So what do we got? Two or three seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight, and off. Okay, so that's really good. That's holding, that's holding really nice. Now we're gonna do a few layers to strengthen this thing up. We'll add a little more. This is actually working out really nicely. So we'll try to get it around the edge, with the crack there, and over here on the edge. So again, we're gonna like layer this up so that it, it sort of builds up strength. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that's probably 10 seconds or so. We want to make sure we really get it cured. Okay. Little button's hard to, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, you can actually squeeze this thing too. And I just discovered if you squeeze it, it'll come on. Instead, you don't have to hit that little orange button. Okay, so it looks pretty good on the front. Let's do the, the back side of it here. We'll get some glue in the crack there. Uh, let's see here. I 
I do like that it has this little needle tip on it. I'm going to spread it back and forth a little bit here. It's, it's still... There we go. Okay. Put my cap back on. And now we will hit this with the UV light. We'll get it all angles here. Okay, that's probably really all it needs. It should be dry to the touch. Let's touch it and see how it feels. Wow, that is dry. Wow. Is it strong enough? Who knows? So I'm not gonna bend it too much yet. What I'm gonna do is build up the glue a little bit because we've just kind of got the crack. I got the crack filled in there and uh, we'll build a layer up on the outside of it and just try to strengthen it up. And the thing is that this is nice, it's clear. So it's, it's drying clear, transparent. So you're not gonna notice this when it's on your game. Go on totally clear. And you'll never know that this was ever done to it. And you know, the real question is gonna be whether it holds up after you're beating the hell out of this thing because uh, there's really nothing protecting it. You know, I've, I've had the UV light on this way longer than I think I need to. Oh wow, it's actually kind of warm. It's still a little tacky. Maybe I need to uh, give it a little more. It feels almost like a rubber. I might have used a little too much, so that's why it maybe need a little more time to harden under the UV light. Okay. Yeah, it feels warm. And it's kind of rubbery. I bet you could actually use like a black light, like a full blown black light and just click that thing on and hold it over this thing and it would probably activate the glue properly. Let's do the back side a little more. Oh yeah, remember, don't unscrew it. I'm gonna build it up. I'll hold it for like 10 seconds. Okay. pretty strong. Like it feels definitely a lot stronger than when I use some other types of glues. Um, I used a two-part epoxy originally on this to try to hold it together and uh, it just didn't seem to want to take to the material. Um, I also tried like a little dab of Gorilla Glue on this thing and that stuff is shit. Throw it out. If you've got it, don't use it. It's, it's not going to work here. This seems like pretty strong. I'm pushing it on them with my thumb. It doesn't want to bend. Um, I'm pretty confident with this. That this is maybe going to hold up. Now you don't have to let this sit for 48 hours or anything like that. Um, that was one of the big selling points of, of the Bondic. Was that it, it cures in that 5 or 10 seconds or whatever and, and it's done. It's good to go. Um, some of the other glues that I used, you, you know, it says you should hold them for maybe like 24 to 48 hours without, you know, using them, keep them clamped, and just wait till it fully cures. This stuff is, I'm really amazed with this. This looks great. All right, so I'm gonna give this another coat on the back, um, just another extra layer there, and then we're going to get it fastened back into the assembly and install it in the game and see how it holds up. Um, we may come back in a week or two and revisit. If this thing falls apart again, I'll let you guys know, but let's assume that it's fixed. Um, and, until I let you guys know otherwise, and hopefully it doesn't, but we'll see. Alright guys, well I'm really happy with the way that this product worked um, and, and the result, how everything turned out. 
Uh, so we layered the glue on the grave marker cross. Uh, it seemed to hold really well. Uh, you just saw that we, we did a bunch of target practice on the thing and just nailed the ball at it a couple dozen times and it seemed to hold up uh, initially. So, you know, only time will tell. We'll just keep playing this thing for the next few weeks and see if it holds up. Uh, I hope I get as many plays out of it with this fix as I did originally with the game. So 1,300 plays was sort of like where I found that that thing broke. I know some people have way more plays and that thing hasn't broken and maybe some people out there with a lot less and it's broken. What I'm really surprised about is that that thing uh, isn't protected, like there's no rubber in front of it or there's no uh, stand-up target or anything like that. Um, in certain modes, like the magnet does seem to kind of maybe grab it and slow it down. But I mean, if you're in the middle of a sparky multi-ball, balls are just going in there and hitting that thing full force. And you know, I'm surprised it didn't break sooner. So anyway, the Bondic product, I really like this a lot. Uh, be careful with it. It does cure really quick. Don't get it on your fingers. Don't turn that UV light on. Don't work under UV light with it. Um, don't work outside with it. I've heard that if you work with it in the sun, it will harden up uh, pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, this was about $15 on Amazon. I did it uh, Amazon Prime and it was here in a day or two. Uh, Canadian Tire carries it as well in Canada. I'm sure there's some places down in the States that carry it. Uh, Canadian Tire it was about $20. So it was cheaper to go Amazon. It was like $15 or $16. So I'm really happy with it. I think I can use this around the house and a bunch of other applications. Uh, so I'm excited to see what I can do with this. Uh, I think that you could probably use this to fix maybe a cracked ramp. Like if you have all the pieces, you could maybe glue that back together with this. Um, broken plastics or anything like that. If you need to fix it in a hurry, just a temporary fix, uh, this is a good solution. Uh, and I'm hoping that it's you know, pretty permanent for my grave marker. I do eventually want to buy a new grave marker, put it on my game. So if I do ever sell it, there'll be a fresh one on it and the new owner will have something that's not compromised. And then, you know, it's good for a lot of plays. So, all right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.